this project is about giving the brain injured people the opportunity to speak. How do we get the other side of the, our community, the professionals, to listen better? Like lawyers or doctors? Well, mostly doctors. I don't know other than, you know, like what I've brought to you. I've got, you know, a 16-page white study and white paper study, international study on what subarachnoid hemorrhage does to the thyroid. Um, I tell people, print this. It's 22 pages, I'm sorry, and it's some ink. But when I brought this to my neurologist, all of a sudden the brain injury is a problem with the thyroid. Then you bring it to the VA, and then you send the email to your attorneys, and you send it to your medical annuity administrator, and they start going, this guy is not to be played with. I mean, he wants to get better. And that's all I've ever been all about. There's no lying, there's no, you know, I don't cut chocolate cake with a chainsaw. I use a plastic fork like everybody else. I take one bite at a time. But do we eat the whole cake or do we eat some of the cake? You know, and that's what I've been telling people. You either want to get better or you don't. You want to sit around taking a bunch of pills. And I know people will take every pill there is. They'll get pumps put in their back instead of maybe a, a pain pill or a shot every once in a while. I didn't want that shot, honestly. But it's individualized. Were you an athlete when you grew up? If you weren't, to me, you're less likely to really care. Um, and I don't want to say that for everybody because educated people are just as aggressive. They want to get good grades. They're competitive that way. They want to learn. Everybody has a different way of wanting to learn. Honestly, in our group, all I ask people to do is just contribute something. And in that, you know, some people will come back and they'll say, well, hey, I got an idea for you. Do you want to listen? Our group isn't about you need to do this because they won't last long. I'll tell you that right now because I don't know if you need to do this. I can't say, Mr. Johnson, from now on, I think when you do your interviews, I think you should do them like this. I'm not going to do that. I don't think you should stop taking hydrocodone or, you know, use the morphine pump. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that there's morphine pumps that have been recalled. <laughs> I will help you with that because it's sutureless and it will spew extra. That's advocacy to me. I only want to help people that want to help themselves. But if I see something, you know, like a pump that I know is, and I know that person's not aggressive, I will say, hey, by the way, here's a link. Now you read it. I think that's what we can do. We can offer the information. And there's a lot of sites and I've been critical of them. They just post links. They know there's not a lot of conversation. You see, we're getting into some long conversations on our postings now, because I use the postings off of the chat a lot of times. Um, and I'll say, oh wow, like somebody's getting cochlear implants, I think on August 8th or something like that. I'll go look up cochlear implants, and then boom, it'll create a chat. So what can we do is that I think just we can all get better at knowing what's cochlear implants, what's a codman programmable ventriculoperitoneal shunt, you know, what's tinnitus, where does it come from? The powers both through the inner, the information and the interaction. You have to learn that there's some internet sites that are not reliable either. Use the Mayo Clinic, use the New England Journal of Medicine, WebMD is very reliable, I like MedHelp, um, and there's more. And I'm sure you know that. Braininjury.com. Um, there's a lot of good sites, but there's an awful lot of sites out there that I've learned that are, they're really not. All right, we're gonna that. we're gonna conclude. And thank you very much. I hope you don't crash and burn too bad. I hope I do. I don't care. It means I did something today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do.